How to create a reusable rule using the analyst tool. This module will demonstrate how to create a rule using the analyst tool and promote it as a reusable rule. As a part of this module, we will create a profile and a rule within it, then promote the rule as a reusable rule and use this rule in another profile. This is a very useful feature in cases where multiple profiles have the need to use the same type of rule. In such a scenario, a rule, that is a reusable one, needs to be created only once and can be applied to all the profiles where needed, thereby eliminating the need to redevelop the same rule. Now to demonstrate this. As you can see, we have logged into the analyst tool and there are a couple of existing profiles and a couple of sources. So to start with, let us create a new profile against this source, GEMP. So we right click on the source, select new, select profile. And select the option for column profiling. And this will show details of the source and the location where the profile is going to be stored. That is in the GW test scorecard. We select next. And we need to give it a unique name. So let us just call it profile GEMP rule. Select next. And we leave this as it is. We select next. There are no filters. We enable drill down and select save. Now we can add a rule to the profile. So for this you need to edit the profile. Choose this pencil icon which says edit profile. This will bring up this multi-tabbed display. Select the tab column profiling rules. There are no rules at this point so we need to create one so click on this plus sign and since we are creating a rule for the first time over here we select the option create a rule select next and let us give it a unique name let's just say rule one and now we can define the function of the rule. For simplicity's sake, let us just choose the option to check if a particular column is null. So we select from the all functions, we can choose the function, say, is null. And here we need to give a particular column. So let us say state. So this rule will basically check if the state is a null or not and will return a 0 or 1 value. And we get, uh, we validate the rule, we say the expression is valid, select OK, click OK again, and save the profile definition. At this point the rule is local to the particular profile. Now we execute the profile. As you can see, the profile has run successfully and the rule column has also been profiled. So this shows that there are 11 uh, out of the total of 12 records in the input. 11 of them returned a value 0 and one of them uh, returned a value 1 as a part of the is null function. Now to make the rule reusable, you can go back to edit the profile, select the column profiling rules and highlight the rule and select the option to edit. Over here you have this checkbox saying save as a reusable rule. So once we enable this, the default location is in the same folder in the same project. So we can leave that as it is or if necessary you can change it if you want to save it in some other location. So here we save it as a reusable rule and we just say save. So the profile is saved, the rule is made as reusable. Now when we come back to the projects tab, you can see that the rule is displayed as an entity all by itself under the category of rules. This is because this rule is a reusable rule. Now this rule can be used in any other profile where you would want to check 
for a string type column uh, to see whether it has got a null value or not. So once again, let us try creating a new profile for the same source, just as an example. And we select column profiling. And that shows the source. We give, let us say, reusable rule. Select next. Again, next. No filters. Enable drill down. Save. Now we want to apply a rule, so edit the profile, come to the column profiling rules, and since there are no rules at this point which are local to the profile, we don't see any display here. So we add a rule, we choose that, we say apply a rule. Once we do that, it's going to give the option of which rule to apply, so you have to select the particular project and the folder. We had saved the rule as rule 1 under project GW test in the folder scorecard, so we select that rule. So this is going to give the definition saying that it is a string type of 10 and the return is going to be an integer, basically a 0 or 1 value. So we select next. And over here we have to specify the input column to the rule. So let us say, for example, choose city and we save this. So now the rule which is basically a check on a string uh, value to see if it is a null or not is now being done against a city. Now let us execute the rule. So we run the profile. So the profile is run and the rule has been uh, also profiled. As you can see that out of the 12 uh, rows of input, one of the rows has got a null value. And when we drill down on that, we can see it was the city that has uh, got a null value for this particular row. And that ends this demonstration. Your feedback is always welcome. You can send the feedback via email to supportvideos at informatica.com or via Twitter at https twitter.com slash infasupport.